Good morning. All right, y'all. It is currently Friday, May 19th, and it is 9.23 in the morning. And as you can tell by the title of this video, I am getting plastic surgery for the first time. I'm super right now. I don't know. I don't know how to feel, honestly, right now. Um, I am undergoing face lipo, so pretty much the face lipo that I'm going to be getting is I'm going to be getting chin and neck lipo. So what they're going to do is they're pretty much just going to like, I just shaved so I have some razor bumps, but they're just going to get rid of like all my fat in my neck, which I don't really have like a crazy ass fat neck, but it's just like, it could be better, you know what I'm saying? So pretty much the moral, the moral, the like goal of the surgery is to potentially have a jawline. When I lose weight and everything, so um, right now I'm more on the excited part, but I know that once I get on the road, that I'm gonna get a lot of anxiety. I am currently in Monterrey, Mexico, right now, which is where I'm from. So I was literally here like three months ago. Um, so now I'm back. Anything I'm most nervous about right now, honestly, I think I'm most nervous for the anesthesia. Um, just to like, I'm a little, I am literally the biggest pussy for needles, so it's like, I'm just so nervous about it. Um, and then, you know, I, it is an awake surgery, so I will be awake. I won't feel no pain, but I will feel movement. So if you guys have ever seen like a BBL or anything, pretty much what they're going to do is they're going to cut me run right here, right here, and right here. And they're just pretty much going to jab a stick in me and just pretty much kind of stab my neck. And what that stick is doing is just sucking out all the fat out of my neck. Um, and then after they start forming um, Also, I forgot my camera charger and my camera battery is blinking. So once this camera dies uh, I will be going back to booty quality um, So pretty much what I want to do is I want to vlog my recovery I want to vlog, you know on the way I don't think I'm gonna be able to get any footage at the doctor So once I get out of there um, how pain levels are if anybody does decide to get this surgery just pretty much my experience about it um, pain levels on 0 to 10 how am I feeling after this day um, the first time that I'm gonna be able to take off my garment and see my neck for the first time um, my massages that I have to get after so um, yeah I'm excited I don't know I'm gonna shit myself low-key but yeah we're about to head out of the house and yeah if you're seeing this video i was gonna say pray for me but if you're seeing this video it's obviously because it already went well oh my god but what if i die though oh <laughs> Hi guys. I just, I just got out of surgery. Um, I talked to you guys when I get home about how everything feels, but this is how I look right now. Alright guys, I just got back home right now. Um, we had to stop at the medicine place to get my medication. Um, so I'm taking ibuprofen um, and another medicine. Um, I did, the, during the surgery I didn't have any pain, like it didn't hurt at all. Um, there was just a lot of discomfort, like you really felt like them really getting in there, you felt all your fat being taken out like without like no pain just like the pressure you know um doesn't hurt one of my biggest things was like it's gonna hurt so much but it didn't hurt at all um um when they they give me my anesthesia shots right here on each side i didn't feel those at all but once they like actually put in the anesthesia like the liquid they had like these two bottles like this big with like 
anesthesia, right? But when they were fucking putting it in my neck, it literally felt like they were putting jello in my neck. Like you feel like the like the noise was just like so like triggering. Um, that was that. Um, then right after they just like started doing the lipo, and you didn't feel pain, but you heard everything. You felt. You literally felt like the movement. Um, once we got up out of surgery, um, we went to get the medicine because I started to feel pain. Not like a pain where it's like, oh my god, it hurts so bad, but it's like, all right, I'm starting to feel it a little bit. Like, let's go get this medicine because I'm not trying to feel it at all. So I, I switched over to my phone because my camera's gonna die because I forgot the charger in Chicago. So yeah, uh, they told me I have to wear this for one week for 24 hours. Um, then right after four days from today, which today is Friday, but honestly, I'm probably just gonna do it on Monday. Um, I get to take off the faha and take off all the tape. I have tape under here. Like, this is tape right here. And honestly, I feel like the most uncomfortable part is the tape because I feel like my skin is tearing. Um, so I get to take that off on the fourth day and like shower like my face and like see my neck and everything. And then once I do that, I have to start doing my massages. So they told me to do my massages on day four. So the massages are very important. You have to do it a few times a day. Um, so that way, the more you do it, the more snatched back that your neck looks, your jaw looks, whatever. And I feel like I'm talking like just the ugliest I could ever talk. Um, I don't have any like, the, the massages have to be done a lot. Pretty much your body creates like a fluid. So when she was telling me how to massage, so I bought an ointment, um, the Arnica, which I've seen. So pretty much I'm gonna have to just like rub my neck super hard. Pretty much kind of until like blood water starts coming off my neck and my incisions. Um, they did cut me three times. They cut me once here, once under my chin, and then once on this side. But I did not feel any pain doing it. The doctor was amazing. Um, she it, like was telling me every single thing she was doing. I was able to talk during surgery. I was still kind of like joking around. They were playing Bad Bunny. And I was like, I don't know. I told them I was like, no sé si perriado, quedarme aquí sentado. And they were just laughing. Um... But I would say the part that gave me the most anxiety um, was during the surgery because my eyes were covered, but I could still see a little bit like under. Once they started like going directly like under my neck, I saw the stick and I heard, and it's just like, I was just like, oh my God, they're literally in my neck. So that was kind of my experience doing the surgery. So now my experience, which I'm gonna bring you guys along with, um, is pretty much the aftercare how i'm feeling if i'm able to sleep or not with the medication the pain levels the massaging um so uh right now i'm, I'm getting kind of hungry i didn't really eat anything today Ugh, they covered my ear it's uncomfortable um i i'm kind of hungry low-key but i know it's going to be difficult to eat because i can't really like open my mouth to eat, but I'm still gonna be able to suck a dick. Oh, crazy, just kidding. So I'm most likely gonna try to take a nap right now. I thought it's gonna happen, but I'm gonna try. Um, and I'll update you guys in a few. Um, pain level, I'm gonna say the pain right now is at a one. Earlier when I was in the car before we got the medicine, it was definitely like a two, so I definitely feel like it's working. Why is my shirt all dirty? I'm trying to eat. And I can't fit stuff in my mouth. It's so hard. <laughs> I feel like I'm fucking like the damn Geico commercial when he's like, you gotta be quicker than that. Bitch, I'm just trying to eat. Guys, I can't put a chip in my mouth. Oh. Aha. Uh -huh. uh -huh.
the struggle is real. Alright guys, so <clears throat> it's still day one. Um but right now it's night time. So I'm probably gonna head to sleep in the few for the first time. It's 9.27. Um, I just wanted to talk a little bit about um, how I'm feeling, uh, like the medicine I was given. So right now, it's about to be eight hours since I took the medicine. So I'm gonna take the medicine right now in a few minutes, most likely. So I'm gonna take the medicine in a few. Um, they prescribed me ibuprofen, 800 milligrams, and then they gave me a moxilina, which is like a pill for to prevent infection for like on the on the openings. Also, this would be I would say this is like the most scariest part. They gave me an a shot, like a legit shot with the needle and the, the liquid, the solution for the needle. And I had to put it in my butt cheek. I've never ever had to put a shot in my butt cheek. So I'm low key scared. But it's also like, bitch, if you do anal, you'll be all right. I'll be cool. Um, I look, I look wild right now. Um, so from what I thought, still think, gonna give it a try, I heard that you have to sit sitting down, you cannot sit laying down, or you can possibly lay down, but you can't use pillows, so I unfortunately forgot to ask my doctor, what do you recommend? So. I'm gonna try attempt to figure out how the fuck to sleep. So I'm gonna try to sleep sitting down, and if not, I'm gonna try to sleep laying down. Because I saw a doctor on YouTube say it doesn't really matter how you sleep, because you know whether it's sitting or laying down. Because at the end of the day, your garment's on and it's already compressing what needs to be compressed. Um, as far as pain right now, I'm not feeling any like crazy pain. Um, just right here. Like right in the middle, I'm feeling like sore. So I know that tomorrow will actually be pain. I'm sure it'll be pain. Not like pain pain, but like soreness. So I'm gonna take these pills. So that way when I wake up in the morning, hopefully I can get enough sleep. But if I, when I do wake up in the morning, I'll be able to take the pills all over again. This is the one that I struggled with the first time. Like I like got hug on my throat. <sighs> right now my pain level I'm gonna say is back at a two. <clears throat> Still at a two, but I was at a two once I left the surgery. Um, and then once I took these pills and I got home, I was at a zero. So I'm gonna let these settle in for a while and hopefully it goes back to zero. So right now I'm gonna try to sleep and we're gonna see how long that goes. I do have a neck pillow that I've been using um, throughout the day. So I'm gonna see if this still helps or not. Um, I'm supposed to be sitting down from what I saw, but then I also heard that it really doesn't matter how you sleep, whether you're sitting down, laying down, because regardless, you're face is pretty much already compressed so the faja is already doing what it's supposed to do so it doesn't matter how you sleep so um i'm gonna try to sleep and figure out what position works best so it's a uh, day two and it's been eight hours since I took my last medicamentos. So now I'm gonna take my second, third round of medication. Um, I still have not taken the shot yet. I don't know. I'm just scared. 
I've never gotten a shot of my butt cheek before. Um, so yeah. But other than that, I don't have any pain. I do feel a lot of swelling though. Like I definitely feel the swelling coming in. Right here, if I like glance my fucking th finger, it hurts. I said, this is me sneaking up on you guys to scare y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I recorded anything or not. Um, but I'm gonna do it now. Um, I just started getting a little bit of pain like literally five minutes ago. But honestly, it's because the faja is really tight. So it kind of feels like if you get a migraine, but like right now it's on the back of my head, um, which I had that feeling yesterday. So it'll probably go away in a few minutes. Um, I just took my medicine again. I'm taking it every eight hours. Um, but so far, I the swelling is starting to settle in. Um, when I rub my finger like this, it, it hurts. Like just, just rubbing it that simple, like you feel the pain. So tomorrow we're leaving Mexico and we're going back to San Antonio um, because I flew to San Antonio from Chicago and we drove over here. So the drive from Tienega, the drive from Monterrey, so the drive from Monterrey to San Antonio is about five hours. Um, so most likely I'll update you guys tomorrow. So most likely I'll update you guys tomorrow. Um, I am able to eat a lot better now. So I feel like I've been doing, if you guys do get the surgery, I don't know why, but I feel like doing mouth exercises, like, like opening your mouth up and down, like, you know like munching you know like movements if you're eating you know like so i feel like if you do that it probably helps with the stiffness because yesterday when i first was about to eat like my mouth didn't open my mouth was like like i couldn't fit nothing i had to like break even chips to eat um but right now i'm doing a lot better um i eat some tacos and yeah that's about it for uh the day after the surgery I imagine that, you know, coming along tomorrow and stuff, it's going to be a little more painful just because of the swelling, but hopefully that medicine does what it's supposed to do. All right, guys, so today is officially day two post-op. So today's Sunday. I was operated on Friday. Um, I was getting a lot of swelling coming up here yesterday, um, and so far it doesn't really hurt anymore, so I'm going to take that as a good sign. Um, we are in New Mexico right now, so we have a five hour drive back to San Antonio. Uh, but other than that, I feel good, no pain. Um, I feel like the medication is really working. Perro me lo voy a comprar. Mira, aquí son 20 dólares. Aquí te, aquí te puedes comprar, aquí te puedes comprar una casa. Ay, qué estúpida. Te van a mandar un perrito, ¿cómo se dice? Charchino. We we passed the border and now we're at a gas station getting some water, using a bathroom. And I put my glasses on because this is embarrassing. Like, can you imagine walking somewhere and you see a big circle like this? I'd be like, look at this dumb hoe. All wrapped up. All right, y'all. So I'm officially day three post op. Um, I have no pain. I still have been taking my medication every eight hours, like the doctor prescribed. Um, so I literally have no pain at all. Um, the day after surgery, I was super swollen right here on my neck, um, where it got to the point that if I would just like gently swipe my finger on it, it would hurt. And now it's like immediately went away. Um, I would say right now the biggest thing that's irking the fuck out of me is that it's so itchy So I can't take it anymore. So I'm just gonna start um, The doctor did say to take it off day four post-op But you know, I did see a lot of videos online and from what I did see a lot of people were taking it off on day three So see my results Hopefully, I like them. Hopefully, the results show. Um, and then I'm gonna get in the shower and wash my face for the first time and my hair. 
and I'm so excited. So here we go. Oh, that's like such a relief off my head already. I'm scared of having this already looking at it. Like the way my neck looks when I swallow, look at it. Oh, should I take it off? I'm so, guys, I'm really scared. I can't really, I can't really tell. Potentially I could still be swollen. Um, right now, I don't really see much difference. Maybe if I face this way. Anyways, I'm gonna get in the shower and try to clean this up a little bit. Um, I am going to be using Arnica also, so that's what I've been seeing what's recommended. Um, since I, technically I wasn't supposed to take it off until tomorrow, I'm going to get in the shower as quick as possible, wash up, and um, just put the, the garment back on. Alright guys, I just got out the shower. Right now I'm just like applying like a, a damp warm towel, I guess you could say, across my neck, and um, I'm going to try and go in with the first massage, you can kind of see the cut, it's the second one on the bottom, um, they look like they're healing already, like really well, I thought they would have still been like bloody and stuff, I have another one right here, um, I do see either the redness right here, it kind of looks swollen, you see that? But also like I have, I get a lot of like razor bumps after shaving. This is the black from the tape. Um, I get a lot of razor bumps shaving, so it could just be like irritation also. This was the tape that I took off. This is the insides of it. I know this is like super gross to watch, but I just want to kind of educate you guys for those who are going to get it. I would have, I kind of want to like incorporate things that I would have wanted to see, you know? So this is what I'm using, Arnica. It is a uh, Arnica gel, uh, pain relief for muscle pain, swelling, and like bruises and stuff. I don't think I'm supposed to use this, this for massaging. Um, but I'm just gonna apply it to my neck. It actually feels really nice just doing that with my finger. All right, I'm gonna try it out. Oh. 
not too bad so far. I know it's supposed to hurt. So right here, I honestly really can't feel anything. In terms of like, it feels hard. So I'm hoping that's not fibrosis, um, which I mean, obviously, which the massaging and everything, it'll go away. Honestly, though, I don't really notice a result yet. I, I noticed a lot of it during the actual, like, surgery, like, the result video of the surgery. Let's just hope that this is going to go snatch a lot more because that is what the doctor said. But, I mean, so far... Hey y'all, so it is day four post-op today, and I was dreading this part of the healing process. Um, I thought it wasn't going to come, but luckily it came a little more towards the end instead of the beginning, but I have a super sore throat right now, and it sucks. It hurts a lot. Um, I'm going to see if I can get up and... See if they have any medicine here. If not, see what I can go buy because no, baby, it's already a struggle to eat. And now my throat hurt. No, man. So I woke up and I took some medication for my sore throat. Feels like, I guess, better than what it was when I first woke up. Um, I do have to go to Target right now. Um, because when we were in Mexico, I left all my shampoo and my face wash and everything. So I want to um, go get that like brand new so that way when I go to Chicago, I don't have to do that over there. I know I'm going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, come here, primo, en fervo. <laughs> It's coming out though. That's a good sign. It's a really good sign. So I'm still using the Arnica and what I'm doing, um, it's literally like 5 a.m. but I can't sleep so I was like, let me just do another massage. Um, I'm starting to get a little hard under here, like hard skin. And I can, and I've been like pushing really hard and it's been moving. So I was just pushing really hard and then all of a sudden, you know, it started leaking. And from what I've seen in the videos, like that's kind of good because it's straight, you know. You're getting all of that like oil out. Right there. Oh, I felt it move. It's so... But the bubble low key moved around, so I no longer feel it right here. It's like around now. Okay, I'm starting to see a difference though. I feel like once I shave, I'll actually see the difference. So I am day five post up, and I just shaved for the first time. Uh, a little uncomfortable, didn't hurt, but it was like, it just felt really weird, like having a razor, um, like, you know, against me. Um, I'm about to hop in the shower because I'm leaving San Antonio today and I'm heading back to Chicago. Um, but just now that I, you can actually see my skin without it, um, you can see like all the green, the bruising. You can see how pretty much my neck is all green still. And right here. Um, so, fingers crossed as this goes away by Saturday because... I'm hoping to go to a festival on Saturday. Okay, so it's day six, and I'm just woke up, got out of the shower. I'm doing another massage. I'm still all green right here, as you can see. Um, if you take a look at my neck, it looks a little botched looking. 
um, except massaging right now. So if you can, you can see how this side is kind of like a little more up and this side's lower. So I need to remove completely this whole bag of like fluid that's in here. So I've just been massaging right now really hard and I'm pushing everything out of the wound. Um, I know I'm really not supposed to, but I kind of fucked around with the wound and opened it a little just so I can get that liquid out so that way we can um, just do this faster, you know? But um, definitely once I get all this, this, I see it. I see how it's gonna look now. Once I get this bag out, it's just gonna be straight, straightly like neck and it looks really nice. But I gotta get that bag out of the way. Hi guys, so I'm officially one week post up. Um, I don't have my faja on right now because I'm doing some errands and I was already like, ooh, about being out in public with it. Um, so far, this is what it is. I still have like that bag right here of like water, whatever the fuck. So I'm still trying to like push everything out. Um, but I see a huge difference. I'm gonna keep massaging and everything. Uh, just a little sore. Uh, a little sore, but nothing like excruciating pain. Um, I'm just trying to get used to like moving my head around, like driving and stuff. Um, but so far, so good. And you're going down, and then you just. <laughs> Hi, if you're still watching, thank you so much for watching through the whole thing. Um, it is currently September 2nd, so I got my surgery in May 19th, so it's been a few months already. Um, these are my results so far. Um, I love them. I feel super confident and like very happy now. Like I'm just like, yeah, bitch, I got surgery, you know. Um, it's not like a crazy difference, but I love how, and the doctor did mention, she was going to give me... A very natural look and I'm obsessed with the way it looks um, I have not gone to the gym I haven't been doing anything so once I do decide to get back to going to the gym this is gonna form very nicely into a beautiful jawline so I'm so excited can't wait to get back into it hopefully soon just a few tips of things that I know massaging there was a point where sometimes I didn't massage at all for like two weeks because it's just so tiring it's annoying but I get it you really have to like continue to do it so it gets you a nice shape um, I still have a few bumps in here, like you'll like rub it and you'll feel like your fingers will go like this. Um, but it's nothing too bad, nothing that's like noticeable or anything. Um, one of my tips is do not drink, I would say wait like two weeks after you take off your faja because I got fibrosis really bad. Um, I don't think I recorded any of videos, but um, the first day that I got to take off my faja, I mentioned that I went to a festival and you could see in some of the videos, but I drank the first day I took off my faja, the second day, and the third day, and the the final day, which was like Monday after like all the shenanigans, I had a huge bump. I'm talking about like a huge ball right here, and it was just the biggest hassle. I had to buy like radiotherapy to like warm it up and, and you know, a gua sha and all this other stuff. So please be cautious of drinking and how you drink. Don't do any drugs. Um, I do vape, and I did start to vape the first day I took off my faja. It didn't burn. It didn't give me nothing. Um, I still vape to this day. Um, that's about it, honestly. Other than that, I really didn't have any pain. Um, I think if you continue to massage, your neck's going to feel a lot good. I did see before I got my surgery that there were some people saying that. Anybody felt like when you go like this, your neck is just going to snap? I feel like that sometimes, but it's really not like an issue, you know? Um... But yeah, you can notice a lot of difference. Like, my face has, like, shape. Like, you could just see right here. Especially when I do my makeup. Like, it just looks really good. Um, when I swallow, this is how it looks. But I'm really obsessed. I'm really um, excited for the future, I guess. That makes sense. Shout out to the doctors. I did go to Bichectomia in Monterrey. Um, the total cost of the surgery was only... 
6,500 pesos, so that's 6,500 pesos, but in American, it's $500. Um, the surgery here in Chicago is 5000 so I know that if I were to ever get surgeries, I would go out of the United States for it. Um, I decided to find this place. I really liked it. I didn't know how much it was going to be, and they ended up telling me the price. I was, like, super shocked. Um, in total, with care and everything, I spent a little over 2000 close to... Uh, over 2000 close to like 2500 in total um, in regards to like traveling to San Antonio and traveling to Mexico and you know etc cetera, etc cetera. Um, I would definitely recommend the surgery no pain at all absolutely no freaking pain the most I think I had was like a number two on a tail skin Ten, on a 10 scale not a tail skin but if you do decide to get this surgery please please tag me in your recovery tag me on your TikToks on your surgery, anything, I would love to see your results and I hope that I can motivate you to end up doing it. Um, any other surgeries that I do wanna get? I wanted to get a BBL, nothing that's like too ridiculous, um, but I would like to get one, but I uh, got educated by somebody and they told me to not get into a BBL. So if anybody's looking to do stuff, you know, guys or whatever, look into a LiPo 360. A LiPo 360 is LiPo all around um, so pretty much they'll snatch your back, like the lower back a little bit, so that way your butt pops out more. Um, so look into that. Um, if I were to get another surgery, I think that would be it. Um, so hopefully we don't have to come. Hopefully I kill it in the gym, but if we get to that point, well, I'll see you guys later. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much. Thank you.